Now I'm going to look at um, your legato and staccato page in your main tutor book. Okay, so we talked about legato. That word means everything is played smoothly. So you simply hold each note and always join it to the next one with no gaps in between. All right, even if there's skips in the, in the music, you still join all the notes up. And even when you're going from one hand to the other hand, That means that all the notes are legato, they're all joined up. So you have on that page um, something called swing tune, both thumbs on middle C for this one, and we're simply joining all the notes up nice and smoothly. Keep those fingers bent. That's three beats in a bar, one, two, three on that dotted note, then the left hand plays. Follow the notes really carefully. a little bit muddled in the left hand I think because we haven't done any bass reading today um, but the notes are going down the stave so that means they're going down the piano they're going backwards in your reading so it's C B A and G and I think that's why everybody finds the bass more difficult so follow the notes down in steps to G then they come back up again to C then there's a skip to A, then steps up, B, and finish on middle C. So just watch carefully those notes. Then on that same page, you've got some staccato work. So staccato is um, indicated with the dots under or over the notes. And it means detached, but it also means that we play them very short. Now they're showing a boy bouncing a ball, and it is like you bounce the ball and it hits right back up again. Um, you can think it like that, or sometimes I, I suggest to people, imagine the key that you're playing on the piano is red hot, red hot, and you don't want to hang about holding it because you'll get singed fingers. You want to, oh, oh, it's hot, that sort of reaction. So you can do the right hand bouncing exercise with the middle C, which is written in that page, keeping the wrist nice and relaxed. Okay, but you do hold the long note at the end, the dotted note. Then it's the same in the left hand. Okay, right, trying to get them as crisp and short as you can. Then if you play the frog, the frog has half the music staccato and the second half legato, and this is just the right hand. So we go jump. rest then back again is nice and smooth smooth and slow okay there's four beats in a bar there notice the numbers at the beginning so the second bar hill I go has a count rest one two three four before you carry on with the music so make sure you count the rests then there's a left hand tune called hop it Still four beats in a bar, again, some staccato, some legato, and again with rests, so make sure you count the rest. Hop, ping, frog, wait for the rest. Hop, ping, frog, wait. Sitting on a mossy log. All right, nice and smooth at the end. So again, the notes are going down the stave, so they go down the keyboard. Wait for the rest. And this is F, and the notes are coming up the stave in steps to C, B, and C. Okay? I'm going to deal with um, Claire de la Lune on a separate video.